We're alive! I'm back, and why is my video not showing when it did before? There we go! <laughs> Alright. Oh, man. What a week it has been since we've last played. Fortunately, I have just been silly busy. Work is now asking for overtime as well. So I just... I'm not having been able to really do too much extra for this. I wanted to do some makeup streams for you guys. And, and to apologize for not being able to do it on Monday and then again on Tuesday. But it looks like I'm probably going to be busy working Thursday, Friday. And I got plan oh, it, it's just a ridiculous mess my life right now. <laughs> As such, we're just going to settle right in and get right moving to continue where things left off. We had started into episode two of three. Plus the bonus. If we're lucky, we'll be able to finish this one today. And I believe I had left it off early enough that we didn't need to worry about watching the same cutscene over again, like we did last time. <laughs> oh well. Are we leaving town yet? Rachel and I were supposed you to go know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down. Supposed to elope. Jeez. No. Always taking a real liking to that bat now. Blackwell's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Right. Is this junkyard all I've got left? I'd forgotten that we uh, told them we wouldn't be coming home if uh, what's its face was still living there. <gasps> Zitran! Why, hello there. We just started up, so you didn't miss anything. Just sitting back, lying down on the chair, on the... Well, whatever it was. And thinking about our life. Oh, oh man. What you did miss was me going on and on about my week so far. <laughs> it's been nuts. I felt bad, because yeah, I, I was able to pop into your stream one time, then the second time I was there. But I was just like, okay, I can't talk, I'm, I'm busy with stuff. I can't even play my games properly, I have to keep walking away. <laughs> it's, it's been, it's, I'm looking forward to relaxing tonight. Might be the only day I get to relax, we'll see how the rest of the week goes. Ugh. Oh, hey, this is the truck we see you're driving. Can I appreciate we could drop by even for a second? Well, hey, even this if I drop in for a sec, I'm still there mess. lurking as well. <laughs> but maybe I can fix it. If this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Wonder if I can find one around here. Oh man, even the game's like, hey, you haven't been playing for a long time. If you forget what you're supposed to be doing, hold that trigger so you can see. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, what is this? Text first. These are all flashing, so I assume they're new texts. <gasps> so that's how I know. I'm always trying to remember as to what the last one was. And now, now, this is the first time I've realized that it's flashing. <laughs> Chloe, David's trying to do what he does, what he thinks is best. He's such a tool! I didn't like that he asked you to empty your pockets, but then you had weed, didn't you? Because it's awesome. I just don't know what to do with you anymore. It rhymes with Cleve Flavid. Rah, ha, ha. Chloe, can't you just forget about David for a second? Think about me. 
because it's awesome. That's my Chloe. I'm still surprised she had that with her. I mean... Okay, I personally don't have any personal experience with drugs or anything, so I can't say it. I've always just assumed that you don't carry that shit on you. Like a whole baggie of it. Just because. I mean, a joint? Sure. I can get that because you might be planning to smoke it, smoke it later or something. But a whole baggie of weed just carrying around on school or wherever. It just, yeah. <laughs> You're a dumb kid, you might. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> At least it's not just me. I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's a lot of people walking around just totally stacked to the max. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> maybe I just need space, okay? Maybe I need my daughter back. <laughs> we got oh right we were introduced to james and rose can't trust normal people just ask rachel her dad seems like the most normal guy on the planet but he also turns out to be a cheating dickwad come to think of it maybe that is normal what sucks is that rachel and her parents actually seem to get along really well before James is the new district attorney in Arc Arcadia Bay, which is the reason Rachel's family moved up here from Orange County. Despite his job, James doesn't act like an uptight law officer all the time. Enforcer. Unlike some wannabe father figures I know. Rose, Rachel's mom, also seems pretty decent. She certainly really loves Rachel and James, poor lady. Whatever happens with Rachel's family, it still seems like she really does love her parents, and maybe that's all that matters. I certainly rather have a cheating dickwad dad than a dead one. Touche, touche. Letter to Max. That I'll. I'll never send. Oops, I accidentally canceled what she's saying. Ooh. Okay. I'm trying to remember where we left off with reading now. Okay, we talked about the wine. Ah, we'll just start here, it'll be great. There's only a couple pages. Max, uh, I don't even know, I don't. First off, was your money on Chloe blows this and goes back to having no friends again? I hope so. How did I fuck it up? One moment I'm having the day of my life, the next moment I'm awkwardly confessing feelings for her. Like some dork asking the head cheerleader, cheerleader to the prom. And she blew me off, because of course she did. But wait, that's not all! Because as soon as Rachel leaves, I find a car. My dead dad's fucking car. This twisted, shattered, ugly reminder of what used to be my life. So I smashed it up, obviously. And then I passed out and had a dream where my dad told me to find Rachel back at the park, and Rachel set herself on fire. But enough about me, how was your day? Chloe, the twist is shattered and ugly. Max, when did you decide you were done with me? I mean, how did you know it was time to move on? I ask because Rachel and I have decided we're done with this shit town. We've had it, it's bye bye bay. But instead of just ghosting it like someone I know, we're going to leave a trail of destruction in our wake. For Rachel, that means burning a fucking forest down. I know, crazy. But guess what? I'm pretty crazy too. In not unrelated news, I finally got my ass suspended from Blackwell. And Rachel got booted from her play, which strangely sucks even worse. I should probably be more upset about being a high school dropout, but I'm not. It's just another chapter of fuckery in the story of my life. So yeah, burning bridges, literally, and academically. That's how you make an exit woman. Chloe, the exit woman wounder. Max, you ever hated someone's guts, but then later felt bad because you found out they're actually cooler than you thought? Yeah, me neither. David got it inside his douchebag skull that he thinks to start cracking down on me, which meant demanding I empty my pockets from in the Blackwell parking lot. I went along with it, but just so I could wave my bag of herb in his stupid mustached face. I guess it backfired because now David is moving into my old house. I say old house because if he's there, I sure shit I'm not. 
Oh, I also bumped into Elliot. He's super into me still. Everyone wants a piece of price. Chloe, bane of fascists. All right, so we need to fix El Truco. battery goes here. As soon as I magically find one. You're in a junkyard, girl. You'll find one. Whether it's working still or not, that's another question. Hmm. I think I'm all <laughs> smashed out. How can one be ever be smashed out? Woody McBoatface. Hmm. Oh, you suck at climbing, girl. Damn, you cigarettes. <laughs> sure, we'll just say that's the... That's the reason. I swear, if you can't lift this pallet, I would be very disappointed. It's a pallet. Okay. Okay, she, she did it. Did it this time. I don't know why I'm climbing up here. I <laughs> just assume there's something here. Hey, I can climb. Let's do it. Shit. Is this still burning? Oh, damn. Shit, she really... I don't know why I assumed that they would, uh, it'd be done by now, but, damn. <laughs> the real question is, why are we climbing on top of here? Unless you do it, then there's probably something up there. Exactly, it's how you know you're going the right way. You're starting countering bad guys in games. Now you're getting stronger, you know you're going the right way. That was just to chill and look at the fire. I can get down with that. I oh, God. can't believe Rachel set that fire. I don't think she meant to, but I also don't think she didn't mean to. Every time I've been in one of these places, I push B to leave and I don't, something happens to me. Every time with Chloe, because Crazy fate is against her. so destructive can also be so beautiful. Or a fire that began in a trash can could grow to light up the entire sky. In conclusion, fire. Pretty sweet. The real question is... Are you going to be staying in this junkyard at night? Sleeping out here? Or are you going to be going back home, Chloe? It's going to be a short tantrum or a long one? Are you actually going to leave town with Rachel? So far, we've heard nothing. They're like, yeah, let's do it! And now... They've just been, uh... Yeah. Oh, I got kicked from the play, but it's tonight! Okay. Ooh, I can graffiti the what hood. What do I want to tell my fellow sailors of the seven trash heaps? Bury treasure or burial grounds? Oh, man. Oh. Oh. I have to do burial grounds just because it is... <laughs> strangely prophetic if you played the first yeah. game. <laughs> Oh, Chloe. Radical piratical. Rip Captain Bluebeard, 1994-2010. Have I watched the trailer for List Goodbye, 2? I have Captain not, but Bluebeard. I've read about it. I hardly A little you. bit. So apparently... Yeah, it's uh, after Captain Spirit, the boys that are supposed to be finding him are the... Uh... I did hear, depending on how you ended the 
first game it's all fun and games changes who you run into in that game. Fun. These magazines are so gross. Ooh, man. Who would look at this? <laughs> okay, I'm still looking, but it's only because I'm so fixated by how weird it is. Sure, Chloe. The difference between boys and girls. Boys are fine looking at naked ladies. <laughs> I know one fire girls, that doesn't uh, need not any as much for the. <gasps> Ooh, radio. I'm surprised that still has batteries, to be honest, but <laughs> work. All right, battery, 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 battery. We need to find ourselves a battery. It's all fun and games till this guy enslaves everyone. No, not going over there. Dad's car might have a battery. Do, 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 do. A mannequin head. Oh boy, that clearly has a battery inside. I guess inside. I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. I'm not that surprised. Max and I used to go there all the time as kids. I think it shut down, but who knows? I wonder if I'll ever ride one of these again. Hoping she'd open it up. A beach towel? Oh boy. You're a long way from the beach. I always wanted a pet snake. Instead, I got David. Fuck everything. Oh. Looked like it was a decent terrarium at first. Good size. Oh man, this truck got the boot. This thing looks somewhat new. Maybe the battery still works? I agree, it does look what new. What are you trying to hide under there, Hood? A snake! Yeah, I know, it shows the picture of the, uh, <laughs> the latch right there. I said they're going, yeah, no, as soon as wow. I was trying to open it, it didn't open, I figured. Shitty ride, drug dealer. I really thought crime paid better. Was just strained and pounded in accordance with blah 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 blah. Pull the latch. In official car speak, this is the thing that makes the other things do their things. Only part of the other things to do their things. Call the combustion engine for a reason. Here we go. It's not just the electrical. The litter. It's not cracked or anything. That's looking good. Oh, I can't open this one's hood anymore. Fine. This is probably a better battery anyways. I was just expecting her just to toss it right in there, just... <laughs> well, definitely has still has charge, so that's good. Yeah, but it doesn't have gas. Like, if it's in the junkyard, it must be for a reason. What's wrong with it? Besides it being totally beat up, huh? So what, you suddenly know how to hotwire?
All I'm going to say is I'm very thankful it's not as easy as just this thing putting a more love than I screwdriver in and turning. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. Oh my god. Why won't you ever start at this top? Okay. Yeah. I don't think I actually read any of her texts from me yet. <laughs> Made it into my house without seeing either of my parents. Sweet, you were born to be a spy. Jumping off trains and shit. Aw, oh, man. We'd make such a great team. No enemy viewfinder would ever be safe from you again. Haha, <laughs> meanwhile you're deep undercover as a passed out person. LOL. Today was unforgettable. Some of it sucked. Yeah. You know what doesn't suck? What? You. You also don't suck. I know. We should probably sleep. Got Wells tomorrow morning. Yeah, my fault. Worth it. Hell's blows, that meeting hella sucked. You're hella weird. You are. Seriously, we'll get revenge. Chloe Price. I don't suck? I really, really don't. My mom thinks I do. Don't know if I can stand going home tonight. Still there? Grab me something from home, then I'll meet you at the junkyard. See you really soon. You better. Alright, so we need... Maybe oh. there's another light bulb I can put in here. Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. Boy, I wonder if those things I've been While looking at. While an escape at... hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. And that's also probably why it's in the junkyard. I'm gonna pass the safety standards okay. for riding on the open road. Let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. All right, Tori robot. Light the way, Robobulb. <laughs> oh, the poor robot. Oh, I was going to take it with me. Take a smut mag? No? Darn. Never know when you're going to have a boy over in the car. Now this is a Vortex Club I wouldn't mind joining. Communism, atheism, free love, outcasts unite. Christmas lights, oh boy. Gotta love a place where even Christmas looks depressing. Aha, a rug! Today, you begin an exciting new life as a floor mat. And exciting it shall be. Don't want to leave yet. Okay, right, let's go. Turn, let's go. It takes so long sometimes. Oh man, a putting You're green? A long way from the country club, guy. It's Okay, we've got ourselves a light. We've got ourselves a thingamabobber. A rat. Ooh, what's inside here? <gasps> a bobblehead? Plus one to perception. For anybody who uh, plays Fallout and whatnot. Okay, we are looking for school bus. You. This could cover that torn seat. 
and look awesome doing it. Boom, that's everything needed. However, why stop here? Let's take this syringe so we have something to stab somebody's neck with if we need to. Get out of a sticky situation. Oh man, this one's an actual I'm placemat. Still not opening up the diner oh, with mom before school. I guess those days are now officially over. I uh, <clears throat> was thinking of floor mat, not placemat. So I thought it was an actual proper floor mat. But no. Oh right, this was the light. I always wanted a pet snake. Instead, I got David. Fuck everything. Oh, one of that nice, cool red light. But alas, I found the robot first, so it looks like blue it is. Although I do like the color of blue that we picked. I'm assuming, depending on what I had picked up here, it would. Uh... A pirate flag. Oh, Wonder if there's treasure buried nearby. <laughs> Darn, I wonder if I could have used the pirate flag instead. Oh man. I'm getting sad. Alright, let's put shit in. I get to pick the tunes. Okay? Good talk. Next, we will fix this so, so we don't fall through. Nobody will be the wiser. Hope my passengers it. enjoy the smell of sea salt and junkyard. Apparently not. Maybe after. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. Probably <laughs> drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Still. How sweet would that be? Oh boy, who is it? Who's calling? Better not be mom again. Just answer so it won't Yeah? Frank, it's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Listen, we've got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about... Oh, like... drugs? Christ. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard, that's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And, Frank? You cool? I'm not in trouble or anything, right? I don't know. Did you do anything you should be in trouble for? <laughs> like, in general, or to you? I'll see you soon. Hmm. Hmm. Don't like that answer. That leaves me a little worried here. Grab the bat. Time for a hard earned smoke break. No, oh, we're going graffiti. You only get one chance to make a first expression. Mystical or frightening? Considering the inside of our truck right now... I'm almost thinking mystical would be a better fit, but it's also a pretty scary truck. 
Um, let's go frightening. This will give about intruders to something wow. to think about. That was disappointing. Technically, we're all about to die. If you take a wide enough view of things. Does Principal Wells eat pizza with a fork and knife? I knew there was something off about that guy. Looking good, oh, hey. Bubble Bob. Nice. Like a nice UV light. Work? It works. <laughs> Fixing the truck was hard work. Time to kick back and light up when I'm done looking around. What is inside this glove compartment? We have not looked inside there yet. What do we have here? Most people probably wouldn't wear a beanie they found in a junkyard. Sucks for most people. <laughs> beanie it is! I claim yeah. this beanie for me. This'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Wanna put it on, girl? With a lit cigarette? What are you doing? Toss it out or something. Oh, girl. This is how additional forest fires are started. And or, you know, being stuck in a burning vehicle. We have another crazy dream. Chloe Price, Shit. you are about to die. I slept all day. <laughs> I could see that. What the hell? Where's the raven? Well, if that isn't creepy. <laughs> Looks very beautiful, though. Or dad. Okay. Dad? Marshmallows. Yeah, I think roasting them over a fire from the hood of a car might not have the best uh, smoke and toxins to be going into your marshmallows. <laughs> I wonder if it burned like this the day... the day it happened. 
Do I feel like roasting a marshmallow? <laughs> Do I even like marshmallows? Who doesn't like marshmallows? Let's do it. Stab it. And it's going to turn into someone's head or something. We got seriously fucked up. Oh. miss him so much. It's roast. Then we can talk to dad. Sometimes it's just the sitting there Amazing, in silence. isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us. Just like darkness, but darkness blinds with absence, with loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. But and just sometimes like that. there's a greater beauty yet to come. Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why <laughs> you need to be careful. Maybe he's talking about careful Rachel. Careful of what? Of getting burned. Oh, Chloe. See the craziest shit in your dreams. Somebody's thumping on the door. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. It's true. So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? Of course or not sure. Should we play hard to get? Play some hard to get. I don't know. I'm not supposed to give rides to strangers. What if I promise you free candy? Hop in. Ooh. Free candy? I'll do it. <gasps> she brought a bag! Oh, yeah. It's it's starting. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A rainbow towel? A cool blue light? That is dark. Too dark? Perfect dark. Chloe, she this is incredible. This perfect dark. <laughs> I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also going to need some money. <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Uh-huh. 
car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Yeah, what are you bringing to this? Luckily, there's no rush. What? What? No rush? True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually suspended you. Well, I can. Really? I'd say it's like the most believable thing that's ever happened to anyone in the history of forever. I'm just so pissed about the play. How could they let Victoria Chase jack your role? Because life is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Yeah, totally. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Yeah, Rachel. Us? Pretty wild? No, us. What are you talking about, us? Last I checked, you're the one who went all puff the manic dragon on that tree last night. What were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But come on, doesn't accomplice sound way cooler than accessory after the fact? <laughs> Is that the official Arcadia Bay DA's <laughs> opinion? Accomplice it is. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Took my weed Therapy. stash, though. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Whoa, she's talking about actually talking? Damn. Ooh, getting all legsy. She's like, yes, Rachel, feel up my thighs well, while Doc. I'm speaking. <sighs> what to talk about first? The fire's not that disturbing on her mind. David. There's David's this the big dildo one. with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks <sighs> he's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm, that's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because <laughs> you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. All right. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? <gasps> step dick, step fuck, step douche. I mean, we've we've got to go with what we always call him. He's, uh, step that's, that's... douche. Because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. Also, he's a douche. Poetic. May I also suggest step ladder? Why step ladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Ew. Oh. And pretty soon, he'll be <laughs> stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? <laughs> Damn it, Rachel. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. And black. I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean, how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touché, Doc. So, my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something batshit fucking nutso last night. What do I do? This perfect friend of yours, who I'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty, sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. Someone who is also, may I add, a knockout in the Ooh. looks department. Perhaps this friend of yours, who I reiterate must be just stunning, <laughs> needed someone in her life to teach her. How to steal wine from yuppie picnickers? How not to give a fuck. Because she was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. We need Rochi here. That he could teach them. Makes sense. King that of no fucks given. 
actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. Ooh, it's those always hands, a hands on her legs is pretty high up Chloe there. Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? She's not going to lie down Sorry. in our lap. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. <laughs> Let's talk about the play. When you think about it, getting suspended from the play is a good thing. You don't have to wear that silly costume and prance around stage. Oh, but she looked like good in idiot. the costume. Maybe I like prancing around stage like an idiot. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like Everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? Not like him, and I won't let you. You right. just put it on need me. someone around who likes you for who you are and isn't afraid to call bullshit when needed. Let me know if you find any candidates for the job. Ooh. Shit, it's playtime. Gotta go clean out my dressing room for Victoria. Not exactly the role I thought I'd be playing tonight. Oh well. Hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally <laughs> fun. I'm in. I'll just be here at the junkyard. My new home. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. Bonk at her, then wolf whistle. Do it! Mikey, a eh? Oh, Mikey, right, Mikey. What's up, man? <laughs> ah, I heard you got suspended. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I rolled a one against Wells. Get it? Stiff says you're a nerd. <laughs>
What do you want, Frank? I'm at the junkyard now. Oh. Supported by the Arcadia Bay Mothers Against Drunk Driving campaign. Reminding you, can't believe I'm gonna say this. Let's this place up. Frank and wait. Duffel Tapestry. Making the place quite homey. It's time to talk about the elephant in the room. This elephant fucking rules. Right. Frank's outside. I should get going if I'm done changing. Yeah, done changing. Let's go. Oh, he actually drove here too. Oh, hello. That's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. Weird. Yo, Frank. It's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password drugs? Right. <laughs> Get your ass in here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, no, there's a base building in this game. I know, right? God, God, style up my house and everything. <laughs> Dude, it smells wow. like piss in here. It Shut looks up. a lot nicer. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Jeez, ah! man. Get my notebook, Please. Price. Kidnapping? And we'll talk. Now I'm fetching things for Frank. How low can I go? And we're back. Max, ever been to therapy? It's actually kind of awesome. I don't mean writing down your feelings and hugging and crying and shit. Talk about popping open the hood and getting your hands dirty. Rachel's awesome at it, because of course, she is. We talked about my mom, David, the fire, my expulsion. Rachel didn't want to talk as much, but I got her to open up. I'm glad I did. By the end, everything, I don't know, seemed a little less broken, I guess. Speaking of, I found this gnarly truck that I started fixing up. Who knows if I'll ever get it running, but for now, I'm glad just to have a problem I might actually be able to solve. And maybe an escape vehicle? Stay tuned. Fixing trucks and fixing brains. Who needs school anyway? Chloe, the less broken fixer. You're listening to 87. I also got text from Justin. Dude, I heard the bad news. Suspension suck. 
<laughs> you mean good news? I'm stoked. Word. I'm home too. I finally got busted yesterday for smelling like weed. My mom's making me go to her book group. Oh man. Betting slip. Twelve hundred dollars. Way out of my league. It's always hard to tell what Frank's thinking. Fight the power. Search and seizure law. <laughs> Sorry, Frank. I didn't know it was your RV when I wrote that. How dare you offer candy to children without parental information? I reported your license plate to the Arcadia Bay Police Department. Oh man! <laughs> Wait, Frank got a puppy? For real? Hi there, my dog is three months old and he's still peeing everywhere. What do I do? Thanks, Frank. Puppies have accidents when they are scared. You have to stop scolding your puppy. But I didn't scold him. <laughs> and why is she having accidents? Pacing a puppy requires patience. If you cannot control yourself, please look deeply and honestly whether you are able to have a dog. What's your fucking problem, lady? I said I didn't scold him. Wow, there's no need to swear. I think it's pretty clear now that you do scold her, and worse. <laughs> yeah, Frank, I'm oh, sorry, but man. people on the internet Rachel, are- Rachel the therapist would have a field day with this. You're about clouds meeting. At what age will dog eat steak? Damn! It said music. <laughs> Mila Kunis single. Cloud formation screensaver. Property insurance fire illegal. Arcadia Bay Forest Watch. Megan Fox single. How large was biggest cloud in history? Why won't puppy eat steak? <laughs> Shit. The mill burned down. Frank, I went back to the mill. Shouldn't have. I'm fucking furious. Everything's burned. A total massacre. Can't stop thinking about it. Dogs didn't make it. Oh man, that's 10k gone just like that. Plus the stud fees we had coming. RF and that whole crew are going to be pissed. How am I supposed to come back from this with my fucking reputation intact? Can't think straight on this shit right now. Just want to find who started the fire and burn his fucking face. Uh, um, Damon, I'm sorry. We, we, we have Jesus. no clue. That's an expensive dog. Hey, Frank! You like the dog? I thought you would. That dog is special, man. Kaylee's buyer wanted him, and I said, fuck off. Keep your 3K. I'm saving him for my buddy, Frank. I mean it. Everything you've done for me adds up way more than 3K. Don't thank me. This is from me to you. Just... Let me breed him later. Wait, dogs died because Rachel started the fire? Yeah. As far as I recall, I think this was a dog fighting ring. And then they were breeding the winners. So, I mean, it sucks that they died, but at least they don't fighting each other anymore to the death. So Frank's a fellow survivor of Black Hell. Otherwise, yeah, no, it's a huge forest fire, so I mean, Ugh, all gross. kinds of shit's going to be going down. Bomb sauce for the man who enjoys searing pain with his drive through order. <laughs> what does Frank really need to remember? Good question. Beer, TP, milk, work, home. All about that. Home. I don't want to write yeah. drugs on there, too. <laughs> To remember, clean up this shit on the floor. A real house. <laughs> Bomb sauce. Oh, For the man who enjoys searing pain with his. Wonder what Frank eats when he gets the munchies. Sure, let's open it while we're driving. That's smart. That is a hell of a lot of beans. That's an insane amount of beans. Why do you have that many beans? That is crazy. <laughs> Frank and Beans. Oh be spending my God. hundreds yeah. of dollars on this dog. Shit, that's a lot of steak. Wait, wait, wait. What was the price of that steak? Frank must be spending hundreds of dollars. Oh, save two dollars. Okay. Damn, he must really like that dog. Steaks aren't exactly cheap. I 
guess Frank subscribes to the hiding in plain sight philosophy of drug stashing. I guess oh. Frank subscribes to the hiding in plain sight philosophy. You know what? No, of drug we're stashing. we're not going to take his I drugs. Have balanced breakfast. Last thing we want is to get get Do bad I with really the drug want to see people. Frank's bedroom. And Frank's been good to me, so. Hey there. Oh, it's okay, you're so guy. cute. Oh shit! Pompadour, get up here. Oh, look at Pompadour. You little killer. Oh. Gosh, Chloe, what the hell? Oh, I can't even scroll up. Son of a... After Tempest, you want to hang out. Still can't believe you got suspended. If you need someone to talk to, let me know, or want to confess your darkest secrets. I'm really okay with it, man. Haha, <laughs> seriously, I'm here for you. Cool, thanks. She's like just trying to ghost him, not really responding, not doing anything. It's like, okay, just go away, man. Because Frank finally gave up on the steak. Hey, he's got all that steak for himself now. Wow. That pillow is definitely dead. A swingy, flippy instrument of death. That's probably the notebook Frank wants. 2010! Is this what I think it is? Glad I paid that off. <laughs> Chloe 175 paid off? Yeah! Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. Frank and his BFF. That must be Damon. That's adorable. A throne fit for Frank. All right, we've finished exploring. Oh, can I put that puppy? Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadour, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? What you name it something French? Okay, so who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. I want an answer. Look, Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Seat him back, Doc. Listen to your point. Yes, I know. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. Frank, you know I hate everyone. Who do you think I'm going to tell? Come on, Price. I got to protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. Hey, so... Uh, I had this dream the other night about a cloud that swallowed Arcadia Bay. You too? See? <laughs> We're a lot alike, Frank. We've got shit in common. Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? Jeez, Frank. Ugh. So sensitive. You guys got a thing going? Mixing business with pleasure? What? No, I... Forget it, Price. Over my dead body. 
I'm holding your drug dealing account book. You obviously trust me already, so what are you waiting for? I don't know. Frank. Talk, and I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh, Frank how about beans. that firehouse chili of hers? You, you got it. The woman you saw, her name's Sarah. Showed up a few weeks ago, causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like mm -hmm. who? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. I shouldn't have opened my mouth. Professional shit disturber. Thanks for telling me. Whatever. You hear the mill burn down? Yeah. I uh, heard some stuff about it. Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. How about you? Did you lose anything in the fire? No. But I'll probably get pulled into whatever shit Damon's dealing with right now. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway. You and I have shit to discuss. I've got a little job for you. Open my pay? notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Yeah, he's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. <laughs> Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? No. I never talked to him. Or his type. No one's just a type, Price. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? What's in it for me? Yeah, of course, but what's in it for me? I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. It's not too shabby. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got suspended this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. It's true. If you can't even do this price, a hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. Hundred bucks is a hundred bucks. Cash and the truck fixed. Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. Well, it is the weekend. If it's still the same day, we came in on a Saturday. So it shouldn't be too busy. Be back this soon. Well, hopefully. Here goes nothing. Wet concrete. <laughs> Better hurry up and get into the dorms. Max, how do you know when it's time to take a relationship to the next level? I'm talking about my drug dealer, Frank, of course. He wants me to do a job for him, picking up money from Drew North. You know Drew, Blackwell's premier jockstrap, and now apparently Oxy dealer. Dude's in pretty deep, it seems. But it should be an easy job, and besides, I can use the money from mine and Rachel's escape fund. Which, speak of Rachel, guess who's skeezball dad's side piece I saw coming out of Frank's RV? I pressed Frank for info and learned that her name is Sarah. 
And she's only been around for a couple of weeks. Oh, and she loves the droogs. Weird. Alright, off to make my triumphant return to Blackwell. At least I'm getting paid to go there this time. Chloe, the criminally awesome. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Oh my god. Okay. Back at school yet again. They've got some tents up for dressing rooms. What are you up to? I'm here too, actually, running an errand for my dealer. Oh really? So bad. Come see me when you're done. Help me cope with the shittiness of seeing VC in my costume. Yeah, for sure. Yes, I saw that woman that your dad was with coming out of my dealer's RV. What? Apparently she's causing trouble for a lot of people or something. Her name's Sarah? Rachel? I think maybe I prefer not knowing her name. Oh, my bad. No, it's fine. See you soon. Yeah, that's something that you'd tell her maybe in person? Not over a text? As I spill water everywhere. What would I buy if I had enough money to build a whole dorm? Probably not a dorm. Okay, graffiti. Oh, I missed a clean lens. Boo. Was it door? I know that's. Okay, when I was walking in, there was a thing that said fresh cement right here. There it is. You know, you know, I've got to write in it. Just got it. <laughs> I totally won't text that it. Yeah, I know, right? Abandon all hope, tempest tossed. Abandon all hope. Ooh, excuse me. Welcome to hell. Abandon all hope, all ye who enter here. It doesn't feel different. I don't belong here anymore. It's not my school. I, uh, I don't have a school. But nothing feels different. Everything still feels shitty. And here I am. About to break into the freaking dorm so I can steal money that Drew owes my drug dealer. God damn, this game is dark. This is gonna go great. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say this uh, before the storm has. Ah, oh, jeez, I can't even say more adult themes because honestly, the whole uh, kidnapping and so on of the last one is. It's it's got some different dark themes, but yeah, the first few episodes of the last one were pretty lighthearted and not that bad. You, you had to deal with the bullying and whatnot, but it wasn't towards until towards the end that it actually that got I'm pretty gone, dark. Steph might but here, it's just been depressing the entire one. time. Besides Rachel, obviously. Hey, Steph. Whoa. Hey, Calamastia. Your shirt looks like the tea leaves they used to tell people's fortunes. How's my future looking? Bright and sunny. <laughs> Surprised to see me on parole? I told you Wells was out to get you. That text was a rare courtesy, by the way. I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. Thanks for trying, but skipping yesterday was totally worth it. Skipping with Rachel Amber does have an appeal. Well... Yeah. So, what are you doing here? Uh, I figured I'd see the Tempest. For real? You? Yeah, I know. It's not really my thing. Uh, <laughs> kinda hoping it's a shit show. What the hell? I'm the stage manager. Oh, I think I knew that. My bad. You better mean it. 
Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. I'm sure it is. I am worried about Victoria coming in now and trying to hog every scene, but the cast overall is fantastic. You get to see a totally different side of everyone, especially the guys. No time travel fucker to just how Chloe became a shitty person. Max added a derpiness to the proceedings. Yeah, Max. Oh, Max. Okay. I'm intrigued. Go on. Like, Hayden's so annoying, but when he puts on that crown, he's actually very princely. And Nathan is Caliban? <laughs> There's so much depth there. Right. I agree yeah. with you, Max was a big goober. Yeah, oh. well, good luck with all of that. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you later. Oh, hey, I wanted to ask you something. It's about Victoria. I mean, Shoot. Rachel, right? I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but... <laughs> Not if you two were together. Make a move? So, are you? Uh... I mean, that's Rachel's business. Or maybe yours and Rachel's business. But if you feel comfortable telling me... Uh, I don't want to say she's single, because they... Rachel even agreed that we had an electric something or other. Do you think we're together? And I'm not sure. I think, uh, let's go with, uh, you think we're together? You think we're together? It looks to me like you've got a thing for her, and maybe she has a thing for you. And I wouldn't want to get in the way. I'm not sure. I'm... Uh, I, I don't know. It's... It's... Confusing. <laughs> I, I can imagine. You ever want to talk to me, Chloe? You know you can, right? I'll see you later, Steph. Have fun storming the castle. Why, yes, Chloe, of course you may look through that. <laughs> Steph's really good at creating fantasy worlds. I can see why Mikey prefers them to his reality. She designed some of the costumes and whatnot as well. I'll see you at the Tempest, right? Just. Looks like someone got rejected from Vortex Club. <laughs> That's Samuel. Oh no, Evan. Oh my god, it's fucking Evan again. Evan's subject for the day. Better you than me, bird. <laughs> Blackwall Academy. Conserving water since... Never. There's Evan. Putting his pretentious art above his sanity. As usual. In a way, that's kind of badass. What are you doing here? Evan is an ass clown. You're not still upset about that, are you? <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be at home thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Dude, why do you care about my questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. <laughs> Did Evan just call me intelligent? I wasn't expecting that. Damn straight. Wow. Evan looks really ridiculous. Before I mock him. Hey, uh, Evan? As intelligent as you look right now, you can still see that bird from where I'm standing. I appreciate your concern, but I want to get this shot exactly right. And I've learned something about myself recently. Like I've learned that punch? if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. Forest fires, for example. You should have taken my petition seriously. <laughs> like anyone else did. Did you really expect people to care? People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. You see True. what happened? <laughs> Looks like you were right. <laughs> Go, Evan. You're a hero of the people. I know you feel like I do. 
about different things, I'm sure. But you only give a shit about what you give a shit about. I like that. A anyway, you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. Yeah, it wasn't as, as uh, douchebaggy. <laughs> what are the chances that 200 years ago, some teenager got in trouble for carving faces all over the thing? Oh, man, let's go inside here and turn on that sprinkler. For shit disturbers. <gasps> hey! Samuel. Blackwell's a resident creepy groundskeeper. Nice work, Samuel. Such a nice white door. <laughs> Though, it feels like it's missing something. Doesn't it? Too bad I can't... Huh. That's some intellectual shit, Samuel. Chaos theory, the... Huh. It's hey, sad. Samuel. Keeping busy? Always, Chloe Price. I didn't think you'd be returning to these hallowed halls so soon. <laughs> Neither did I. I have the feeling it wasn't uh, the books or bricks of Blackwell that led you back. <laughs> what? You're here for someone. A special someone, yes? What do you think of... Uh, Rachel Amber? Rachel Amber is a dragon made of diamonds. That's, uh... Deep. <laughs> do you just make this shit up on the fly, or do you, like, write it down beforehand? Are you angry all the time because you like the way it feels, or... Is it merely a desperate defense against experiencing true intimacy with others? Ooh. Slugging it right home there. <laughs> He's like, fuck. <laughs> you got I'm, nothing to say that. Uh, looking for Drew North. Most look at Drew North and see only the athlete, but he is more than that. He is? A great heart he has. With much love and no room for fear. I've always thought he was kind of a bully. He may be that, too. No one is just one thing. So, uh, what about Elliot Hampton? Have you seen him recently? I only see what Elliot wants me to see. Okay... Usually I can see both what people want me to see and what they want to keep hidden. Hmm. And, uh, what, what do I want to keep hidden? That you are lonely and afraid. That's it, it's true. So she's just going to say nothing. It's okay not to be okay, Chloe Price. I've got to go, man. Uh, it's been real. I often wonder what real is. Farewell, Chloe Price. Shame Samuel's not really in these games that much. He's an interesting character. Right now, how can we get him out of here? There's Evan. No. Oh. Putting his pretentious art above his sanity, <sighs> as usual. <laughs> Blackwell Academy. Conserving water since never. Hmm. Really seeing anything here? I've already interacted with all that. Hmm. 
Max would have jumped on that photographer position. Evan's subject for the day. Better you than me, bird. I'm not really seeing any way of getting Samuel out. Oh well. Locked. Figures. Looks like my options are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. Which would be Samuel. Bingo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? And there we go. So now that probably allows me to do something. Or not? Uh... Pull the latch. How do I get Samuel out of there? It looks like he's working on the sprinklers. It's another sprinkler. How can I get Samuel away from his keys? Butterfly. Not uh, blue, though. <sighs> Maybe something with a wheelbarrow. Come on. Oh. Okay, yes, there's a freaking sprinkler here. I can look at if it. Samuel's working on the sprinklers. Some damage here might get his attention. Uh, I have to look at it again. Gotcha. But Evan is right there. You know how to get Evan to go? That bird Scare is the bird. really pretty. I can see why Evan... Hey! Shit. I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as possible, the other way. <laughs> Looks like I have to scare them. The other way. <laughs> it's just like, he's like, what the fuck Time you doing, man? Fresh start. <laughs> Here we go. <sighs> There's another one. <laughs> one small flight for this bird, one giant leap backward for Chloe Price. Ah, he just doesn't want to leave this spot. <laughs> These are really the only... If I can scare that bird far enough away, maybe Evan won't see me break that sprinkler. Almost there. Almost there for where? There's no other seed. One small flight for this bird, one giant leap backward for Chloe Price. Almost there. 
It's excited with it being over there, but... I need to get that bird away from the quad so I can smash that sprinkler without Evan seeing. Perfect. You're welcome. And you're just supposed to magically think about putting it over there. All right, then, whatever. Awesome. Now, I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... <laughs> that works. Don't know how much time we have. Go, go, go! Most important thing first, graffiti the door. <laughs> Sorry, Samuel. Sorry. Squirrel peace offering. Squirrel gives no fucks. Peace offering. Samuel has been a very peaceful fellow. <laughs> Colby was here. <laughs> Sorry about the bathroom. <laughs> M. Lorio Bust? I'm sorry if your name did that name terribly, but thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it. Sorry, Samuel. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. All right. Time to find Drew's room. <sighs> like, we keep doing things to poor Samuel in each game as well. No time like the present. Yeah, which key is it? Oh shit, it skipped! Hello? He knows! <laughs> I like, she's all like... Do, 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 do. Uh, hey, Skip! How's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but... What are you doing here? Didn't you just get suspended? Is it a friend or on a secret mission? Ah, visiting a friend. Relax. We'll be up and up with them. I'm just uh, visiting a friend. I, I can't... I, I really can't just let you go in. Samuel says we're going inside. I'm going inside, dude. You're just gonna have to let this slide. I don't think I can. <laughs> in fact, I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. <laughs> oh God, this is gonna What's be hard. What's my official business? Women's business, Skip. As in, my uterus? I need to use the restroom. Glad you asked. What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. Your job is creepy, then. Which makes you kind of a creeper. Oh, it's not like that. Do you know what Wells would do to me if I didn't, you know, patrol? Is Wells pressuring you to write more students up? I'm not even a student, but sure. Don't let that stop you. <laughs> I thought we were friends. Where is this coming from? I, I thought we were friends too, but when the man comes down on you, you come down on me. Is that it? Look, look, look. I am really sorry, Chloe. 
I'm just so confused right now. You're... you're sorry? Y you just looked at my tits. You, you did. You <laughs> stared right at them. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do. Seriously, my uterus is on fire, dude. What? Is that uh, descriptive enough? I don't want to know. But... En fuego utero, Skip. En fuego utero. I don't. I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Matthews. Huh. I'm here. I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. Oh, <sighs> thank God. Oh, I'm on it. I won't tell Wells. Do what you have to do, okay? I won't tell anyone. <laughs> Good, I won't tell anyone. You took a look at my titties. All right, Frank. How's it going? Have you found it yet? Chill out, man. It's been like five minutes. It's been 20. Okay, okay, I'm on it. Hurry up. Probably his stuff there that's... Uh... Tell him to go look after. You just left the keys. The one thing about this game, I hate that they're just leaving things out where it's so obvious that you've been there. All right, which one is Drew's room? ABFW alert system. Fireweather update, Arcadia Bay Forest Watch, Arcadia Bay. Culmination State Park fire now 50% contained. Additional road closures, check local media. It's not bad. All right, do they have the map? Perfect, where's this? Doubt I'll ever see my name on one of these. Too Fire many chances Angel. to screw Elliot. up before senior year. Ah, Drew North, 110. Could Elliot be lamer if he tried? Yeah. Elliot Hampton's room. Wonder what he's up to right now. Sure, let's go check it out. Why not? <laughs> it's not like Times of the Essence or anything. Elliot does work really hard. A plus, damn. I guess I'm happy for him. The world breaks everyone, and afterward, some are strong at the broken places. Why does that make me sad? It's been so long since Elliot and I actually went to a concert together. Wow. I remember this show. Crazy that Elliot would hold on to this picture after so long. Ooh, it's a journal. He's not the only one who keeps a diary. Oh, That's boy. not half bad. She left the room. It was electric. Flushed wings, taut with agony. Okay. I see Dark. her in the brick and mortar, in the fresh cut grass, eyes flashing bright like coins. The ferryman can't have her, I say, but the dark gods laugh. Who is it that Elliot's writing about? Don't know, Chloe. That moment when the sun is almost there, the sea so welcoming and warm, when pooled light smooths the nodding waves, when shapeless, cold infinity conforms to one stark plane, and for a moment only, all is possible. All say yes. My heart says yes. Her eyes say yes. Elliot is... Way more artistic than I thought. They see her, but don't see her. How is that so? When, oh my gosh, apparently that turned on Siri. I don't know how. <laughs> when all the world is negative and dark, and she cries out, a screaming rocket, trailing fire. Wait, are these about me? You are about what to the die. Fuck, Elliot? How childish she is, how lovely and how cruel, her black knife spilling words and dripping ink. Probably because I turned them down now. 
And he's uh, getting a little unhappy. Nice. <laughs> hey, sweetheart, just got a letter about your scholarship. I couldn't be prouder. I've been showing it to the whole family. Your grandmother just said, of course he did. He's my grandson. Also, your father called again about July 4th. I told him it was too early to decide that you're focused on school right now anyway. But if you want to spend some time with him this summer, of course I'll support you. Don't break too many hearts over there, Mom. Lucky Dana. Chicks man. Yo, Elliot! You got English with Dana Ward, right? What's she like? I think she's hot. Say something cool about me to her. But not like I told you to do it. Thanks, bro. Warren Graham is such a nerd. <laughs> oh, Warren. You're so wrong. I'll grant you. Ed Wood made some awesome movies. Awful movies. <clears throat> Just because I personally like some of them. <laughs> but so many more awesomely terrible movies came out after Plan 9 from Outer Space. Called the worst movie ever made. But have you seen Night of the Lepus? That's a bunch of space zombies compared to giant carnivorous rabbits. Huh. Oops. There's way less porn here than I would have thought. Uh, I'm clicking too many things. Connection to Steam has been lost. Wait. Oh, that's me. Connection to Steam. Wait, what? Huh? Huh. <laughs> okay, it's back now. I don't know. I'm confused. Okay. How oh, to tie a tie video. Elliot Hampton, Arcadia Bay. Chloe Elizabeth Price. Okay, but Chloe. Oh my goodness. He's looking up. Hmm. Hmm. He doesn't like seeing me with Rachel. Okay. Okay. Close the drawer, because he seems like a crazy person. Put things back how we found them. I've never been able to get Elliot to play for me. I guess he's either really good or <laughs> really bad. I knew Elliot did well in class, but... I didn't realize he was here on a full ride. Dear Elliot, I'm happy to inform you that your academic performance and financial aid status have more than met the requirements to receive continued aid. For the upcoming 2010 spring semester, the Prescott Foundation will cover all educational expenses as well as room and board. Congratulations on your continued academic success. Elliot's kind of preppy in his own way. Maybe he does belong at Blackwell. Well, that's all that we can see here. I've expected him to be right there staring at me as his way into the door <laughs> to go out, or exit, I should say. I want to say that half the fun of weed is knowing it's illegal, but... I think it'd be just as awesome over the counter. Oh man, look at them all being all supportive and stuff over here. Oh, except over here. Brain Decay by Nathan. <laughs> Nathan's such a creep, really gross. Oh boy. Yep. Uh, definitely Drew's room. Wipe off the loop. All right, so we can look, knock, open, we're gonna look at it first. Well, I guess we'll knock first. Nobody answered, so let's go in. That, I, 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 gave, I gave that courtesy knock. Now, you know, I, I thought I heard somebody say, come in. Oh. Good. <sighs> Drew's not here. Okay. Brother must have been here <laughs> if too. If I were Drew, where would I hide my money? Holy shit, Drew. A college scholarship? No wonder you're so Full football. athletic scholarship to play football at Oregon State University. Damn. Bet the dinner choices are steak or steak. <sighs> For the love of God. For the love of the game. I didn't right, realize this Drew was some ideas. this good at sports. I bet he can't wait to get out of Arcadia Bay. Dear Andrew, congratulations! 
In light of your incredible achievements as a high school football player and student, I am pleased to extend an official scholarship offer to you. The University of Oregon degree is one of the most prestigious academic institutions in the Pacific Northwest. We truly feel that you are a student athlete who has the potential to make a powerful impact on both our team and our student body. As the head coach, I'm here to assist and support you on your journey to success. The details of the scholarship offer are as follows. Hello, Chris. Thank you so much for your consideration of the generous scholarship offer. I regret to inform you that I've chosen to attend Oregon State in the fall. Thanks for your time. Drew, Richland. Frank wasn't lying. Looks like Drew sells happy pills to his hey, fellow bro. heads. Do you have any more happy pills? I'm beat as hell. Saw me take that hit for you last night, right? No one gets on my boy's grill on my watch, but hook me up, will you? Something just to take the edge off is all I need. So many folks are shit out of luck around here. At least Drew has some prospects. Drew, what an amazing game, son. Couldn't believe that third quarter conversion. You've got moves, no doubt. Spent the day at the library again. Computers aren't my thing, you know that. But I'm trying to learn. There's a remedial skills class Mikey made me promise to take. So I'm going to do that next. See about learning how to type worth a damn. Never had to type on a fishing boat. Taking me forever to finish this email. Prospects for work are rough, but you know how it is. Don't worry about your pops. Keep your eye on that damn ball and there's nothing that'll stop you. I'm proud of you. Yes, give Mikey a hug for me. I'll be by tomorrow afternoon to take him to the clinic. Don't forget. Too bad yeah, I lost, dad lost my the... form. I was really looking forward to running all those sweaty laps. Release all this stuff. I bet you it's in the trunk, but I don't want to look in there quite yet. Oh, man. Looks like Drew's dad Shelter is having a hard time. Yeah, that's what happens when you get laid off your job and nobody's hiring. Ugh. Mikey's figures. <laughs> Playing that game yesterday was actually fun. Durgeron. Yeah, that fucker's dead. And we killed Bad him. guys don't usually look so obvious, but this is still awesome. Uh, awesome. <laughs> Dr. Timebot, the Jurassic Edition. Looks like Mikey's been staying here with Drew. Wonder why. <laughs> they look so happy. Oh, shit. Oh, no. He's not paying back Frank right now because he wants to give the money to his dad because his dad's out down on his luck. Is not the having money a job. in there? Shit. All right. Guess I have to crack a four-digit code. Four-digit code. Oh, boy. I'm awesome at those. Fuck. <laughs> Plenty of possible combinations here. Let's see. Ninety two. Six. Let's try those to the years. Two. Damn it. No. Wrong numbers. Six. Damn it. Wrong numbers. All right, so it's not those years in the athletic Plenty of form. possible combinations here. It'll be 1227. Twenty-seven. Oh. Yes. This is kind of fun. Don't throw it down. You need to replace the lock after. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Did little Drew beat you up too? <sighs> Jackpot. I'm kind of good at this. Lock it back up. Oh, but what if Mikey has the lock? Uh, has the combination he Okay. Got the money. Time to bust out of here. Oh shit. It's Mikey though, it's okay. Hide behind the door. Hey. 
Elamon. Chloe? What are you doing here? I was <laughs> looking for your brother, but uh, he's not here, so. Why? Bro, we oh, gotta shit. go. <laughs> Yesterday wasn't enough? You wanna go another round? Doesn't matter. Mikey, get your stuff. Let's move. Drew, relax. Slow down. Is that black? What? Wait. What was that, Damon? Shit. You're making me think you're nervous about something. Who the hell is that? No one. Stay in here. But and Frank's don't say getting anything, it. Why is it? Demon. Whatever you do, don't open the door. You know what's going on? Damon, you shouldn't have come here. School's not the place for this. Really? Where is the place to collect my fucking money? Shit. I told you, I don't have it. Cells are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look, it's spring season. We just started two a days. Those are gonna kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me a grand. Where is it? I said I don't have it right now. I heard about your dad's job, by the way. Tough times. Yeah. Bet a grand would mean a lot to him right now. Yeah. Where's my money, Drew? I don't know what you expect me to do. I can't just make money appear out of thin air. Oh, I want my fucking money! You don't have to hit me, man. I'm gonna... Uh, Where is it? Uh, please! Just give me one... Uh, You're just going to lie there? I thought football players were supposed to be tough. Sorry to have to do this, kid! No uh, one steals from me! Uh, no one. Fuck. Fuck! Mm. Shit. Okay, here's the problem with this choice. Stay with Mikey, give Damon the money. If we go out to give Damon the money, he's going to see that there's witnesses and shit's going to be bad for that. But if I stay with Mikey... I mean, he might get the shit beat out of him. Ah. Stay with Mikey's not going to kill him. What I, that's what I'm thinking as well. What I'm worried about is that he's going to like kneecap him or something. Do something to his knee so he can't play football. Like this is what you get for stealing from me. And then he loses his full athletic ride and everything. And what he enjoys doing. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's his problem. <laughs> yeah, I don't want him to suddenly go after Mikey. No! Your brother said to stay inside. It'll be okay, Mikey. It'll be okay. Damn, you were one tough kid. Fuck you. Yeah? Well, what about this? Good luck running on that knee now. Bye bye, football. <laughs> What did I say? I'm done. Get my money. Or maybe it'll be your little brother I talk to next. See you soon. Just how violent he was and everything right away. I figure that's true. He had to make an okay. example. I'm okay. Little brother. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you. <laughs> now for the next hard choice. Give him the money or keep the money? Fuck. Okay, right now... See, this is the thing that I'm confused about, because Frank asked me to go get the money. And Frank's working for Damon. So, why is Damon here? 
collecting. And I mean, I'm only getting 100 bucks out of this. It would be nice to have the 100 bucks, but. Uh, what would, okay. I'm thinking about me right now. I would give him the money. What would Chloe do? What would Chloe do? I'm sure if you give him the money, he... Damn it, Zayshon, you're leaving me in suspense. What would he do? <laughs> so yeah, why didn't you give it to him before he broke my knee? Yeah. I'll, I'll keep it. Because Chloe wants to get I, out of here. I didn't do anything. You kept my brother safe. Drew, you need to get to the hospital. <sighs> Don't tell anyone about this, okay? Yeah, uh, no. No way. What, um, what are you going to do? <sighs> about Damon? I don't know. <sighs> One day at a time. I hear you. I mean, I don't think Damon actually screwed up his knee then, because he's not clutching at it, howling in pain or anything. He's just in there like, what else, man? <laughs> so I think it's okay. I tell you though, with some of these choices, it's tough playing as Chloe. My god. <laughs> Goes against everything I personally stand for. <laughs> Little and fruit fly flying around here, it's annoying me. Ugh. Was the play done or has it not even started yet? Oh, mustn't have started. And she's risking coming to the back? Everybody knows she's suspended. What did she... I'm confused. This day has been so messed up. And that's before having to watch Victoria butcher Rachel's role. Oh, this so she did watch it. here for Rachel. If I can find her. Aw, oh, couldn't have shown me some of the acting. Max, fuck! Remember that easy job for Frank I told you about? <laughs> yeah, not quite. First, I jacked Samuel's keys, then used my Jedi powers to get past Skip into the dorms. By which I mean talking about my lady bits till he freaked out and let me in. Took a brief detour into Elliot's room and read his poetry. Dude's got feelings. For me, I think? I'm flattered, I guess. Anyway, I found the cache, but then Drew and Mikey showed up, followed by Frank's psychopath boss, Damon. Have you ever met someone that you just knew never to fuck with? I hadn't until today. Damon started beating the shit out of Drew for the money he owed. I stayed with Mikey like Drew wanted. It was horrifying. I think Damon actually broke Drew's knee. And then after I, I kept his money. I'm not sure why I did it. I need the money to get out of town, but it felt not great. It was all so, so, so fucked. And that most fucked part, I had that I had anything to do with it. Chloe, a thief, and all around bad person. Alright, so now we've met. Spend a few minutes with Demon Merrick, and you can tell that he's a peace loving guy who gardens in his spare time and loves unicorns and rainbows. Oh, and breaking people's kneecaps. It's the simple pleasures. Honestly, I don't know a whole lot about the guy. I know that he collects on his debts. His name is written all over the mill, and he might even scare Frank. I think they work together, but unlike Frank, he's got a bite to match his bark. 
Everyone at the mill that night seemed to know him, but every time I asked someone about him, they clammed right the hell up. And you have to be a special breed of fucked up to scare any kind of sense into the criminal element of Arcadia Bay. The one thing everyone will tell me? The guy's bad news. Chloe, it's Steph. I'm on my way to the hospital. Like you told me what happened, poor Drew. I'm still stunned. Thank you for what you did. I didn't do anything. You held on to Mikey. He told me. It meant a lot to him. Well, I mean, at least... <sighs> at least Mikey's happy about that? He doesn't know about the money, I guess. S.G. Must be Steph. Sucks that she has to miss this. I'm gonna play with it. Chloe Price presents... Firewalk! Laser Light Spectacular! <laughs> She's gonna be pissed! All her presets are gone! Even Hayden seems super into this play. What is happening? Hey, Hayden. Address me as Ferdinand, good lady. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, hey, Ferdinand. Sup, Chloe. I mean, sup, fair maiden. <laughs> Great <laughs> <laughs> method acting. <laughs> really? Yeah. Thanks. Boys changing tent. Thanks. But, no thanks. What's she doing over here? That's shameless eavesdropping there, Samantha. Hey, Samantha. Shh. Nathan. Please. I can't do it. You don't understand. They all hate me. They're just gonna laugh at me. Why do you suppose that is? I don't know. Because you show weakness. Just like you're doing right now. But Dad... When will you learn that this isn't about you and your problems? This is about the Prescott name. My name. You will not embarrass me. Nathan. Yes. Good. Now. Break a leg. I'll see you after the show. I like that guy. Great pep talk, Mr. P. Everyone knows the best way to instill confidence in someone is by intimidating them. I don't know who you are, but mind your own business. <laughs> I'd love to. Don't you have, like, a private bunker filled with gold coins where you could have these conversations? Poor guy. Fuck. Like, I think this is before he goes crazy and off the rails. Hey, Nathan's dad is some asshole, huh? I know. I wish he'd just go away and leave him alone. Nathan's dad sucks, but you should be careful what you wish for when it comes to parents. Oh, Chloe, I wasn't thinking. I'm sorry. <laughs> for what? You didn't kill my dad. Or did you? <laughs> that was a joke. I know. Your dark sense of humor reminds me a lot of Nathan's. Actually, the two of you are really similar. Uh, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> I'm serious. You're both artistic and surprisingly sensitive. You've been through a lot, and a lot of people unfairly judge you for it. I think you stood up for Nathan yesterday because you know what he's going through. Nathan's hurt, and he needs help. 
But whenever I try to help him, it always seems to make things worse. If you were Nathan right now, what would you want me to do? Hmm. Ah, keep giving them. When I'm super pissed, <laughs> the last thing I want is someone trying to calm me down. But maybe it's what I need. Nathan acted like he didn't want our help yesterday. But trust me, he was glad we did. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. That's actually super helpful. The divider. Slut shaming? Sluts shame themselves. <laughs> Another witty rebuttal by VC. Uh, VC. Drama teachers always seem so <laughs> dramatic. Sup, Mr. Keaton. Why, if it isn't the muse of the Blackwell Drama Department. Tell me, young lady. Do you still believe true love is a lie? I don't know. I guess the whole point of love is to leave yourself open to... <laughs> ...whatever happens. <laughs> Indeed. That is an art many of us attempt and precious few master. Budding dramaturge, may your propitious appearance counteract the tragedy of Stephanie Gingrich's sudden recusal. An emergency, she says. <laughs> what? Word. Stephanie was our lion of the light board, but platitudinal though it may be, the show must sojourn forth. That dude is weird. Of all the possible scenarios involving Victoria Chase and swords, this one is easily the least exciting. Did Doug uh -huh. dig After all the work Steph did, did it's amazing that she would drop everything to be there for Mikey. Good on her. Dana! Hey, Dana. Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David dig Doug's? Did Doug dig How David's garden? Know. Or did David Did Doug dig David's garden? Oh my or God. did David dig Doug's? How's your super long errand going? Yo, crazy shit happened in Drew's room, like, really bad. Oh no, are you okay? Do you need to talk about it? Yeah, later. Too many people around now. I'm backstage. Great. I'm on my way. Rachel? Let's go to the tent. And she gets knifed. Oh, come on, V. You got this. You. Got. This. Oh, shit, shit, shit. I can't do this. I'm going to ruin the play. Ooh. Them drugs. Believe in yourself. I do. What are you two doing here? You two? What? Oh, she snuck in behind me. Or did you forget? You let this loser dropout sabotage you. Just like she tried to sabotage me yesterday. But really, I should be thanking you. Now I have everything I wanted. And you've got a new friend. So I guess we're both doing great. Now please leave so I can get ready for my performance. Even though I wish I was the one performing tonight, Victoria, I really am happy for you. I hope it's everything you want it to be. We both do. Right, Chloe? Get Victoria to quit or support Victoria? I don't know why, but I kind of like Vic. Well, it's because, like, this one's showing more of her side where it is, no, she's just, she has huge doubts about herself. And she's acting out because of it. <sighs> I don't know, Rachel's, the way Rachel said it, it's like, right? You, like, she wants it to continue. I don't know. I kind of want to get Rachel back up there. 
Fuck it. Rachel, Rachel all the way. Rachel might be taking the high road, but not me. I know how much she wants to perform. All I need to do is convince Victoria that it's in her best interest to quit. I don't know. Have you really thought this through, Victoria? Performing tonight could be the equivalent of... social suicide. What are you talking about? You think I'm going to take advice from a loser like you? Don't you know your Shakespeare? Tis better to have loved and lost than never to have gone on stage and made a complete ass of yourself in front of everybody, ever. People love theater. It's cool. High school is war. Theater is that part of war where you get impaled by a spear and you shit your guts out and then all your friends <laughs> abandon you. <laughs> the dramatic arts at Blackwell are venerated by... Uh, what am I saying? I don't have to justify myself to you. Understudy is a oh, funny word, oops. don't Sorry. you think? Kinda tells you exactly where on the social hierarchy you belong. The best of Blackwell are out there watching. Victoria, you, you just won that photography award. You're actually good at that. Why waste your time on this clown show instead? Chloe, you're being a little harsh, don't you think? No, she's right. She is? I am? What was I thinking? Oh, look at this thing. I can't <laughs> go out like this. I can't play this part. I don't know the lines. I don't understand the stupid play. I don't even like theater. You don't wait, know wait. the lines? Actually just Hello. helped her. I was cast as understudy to you? What were the chances I was actually going to be here? So... Uh, it looks good on her. The show can go to hell for all I care. I'm not going down with it. You outdid yourself, Price. <laughs> I guess I did. <sighs> I better get ready. Oh, hey, uh, that's mine. The gloomiest shirt of the bunch. How did I know you were going to pick that one? I guess Prospera knows all. Oh, <sighs> okay. I better start getting into costume before... Sweet pardon me. We're ruined. The show is ruined. <laughs> that was quick. My dear young artists, a misfortune most unkind has befallen us. Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. Would that she could but manifest on her master's whim as a true spirit. Alas, the void of an <laughs> understudy. The situation is a dire one indeed. I'm afraid we may have to cancel. Truly, we are a cursed lot. Even my prodigious imagination cannot conceive of a worse turn of fate. That's it. I will not abide this lack of professionalism any longer. I quit! Victoria? In fact, I am protesting the entire Blackwell Arts Program. It's time our talents were appreciated and not squandered by subpar faculty. <laughs> Good luck with your train wreck. Touché, fates. Touché. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Keaton, perhaps I could fill in for Victoria? My dear, your visage is as a vessel sent by the heavens to offer passage to my stranded soul. But I'm afraid without our Ariel, all is still lost. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? Uh-oh. Uh no. Mr. Keaton. No. Chloe could step in for Juliet. No fucking chance. At least until the road's clear. <laughs> the romantic. She's the right fit for Juliet's costume. She is indeed. Tell me, my dear, have you ever acted before? <laughs> acted no, outraged? No. She's being modest. We play improv games all the time. And she's fantastic at it. My dear, what if I told you that the entire fate of the production <laughs> rests upon your slender shoulders? A 
I'd say you're super fucked. Chloe, please. For me. She does want it really badly. <sighs> Damn it. Damn, she looks hot in that getup. I can't believe Rachel's talked me into this. <laughs> oh my goodness, this oh oh. I just talked to Damon. He said he had to come down hard. Didn't see you. What happened? Did you find the money? Price? Where's the money? This is serious. Quit fucking around. Unless you're dead. Reply. Let's meet tomorrow. Have answers. I seriously have to memorize all of this? Thanks, Rachel. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, God. And considering the things I had to remember in the last game. All hail great mistress, I come to answer thy pleasure for the king's ship. Okay. We're going to cheat and take pictures of the screen because I have a terrible, terrible, terrible memory. <laughs> so this way, I can get the play correct. <laughs> take that, <laughs> game. Success is mine. All right. I want to be the best Ariel ever. Why does it feel like Steph is mocking me from afar? I see me or Mr. K for makeup kits. It's G. The only thing worse than looking at spandex is being forced to wear it. <sighs> Looks like I'm late, as usual. And there we go. But wait, Is there more. There's a backpack. Okay, over here. Oh, that's the mirror. Check ourselves out. Oh, she wasn't slouched so much. She's slouching. Look! Look at that posture. Chloe, Chloe, straighten up. Time for my big debut, Joy. Oh, now here's hoping that's not time-based choices for the my lions. I know they're going to ask me for my lions. By accident, most strange, bountiful fortune hath mine enemies. I got the phone ready <laughs> with my with my lions it ready. <laughs> cease more questions. I don't have to yell out line. Inclined to sleep. Tis a good dullness, and give it way. I know thou canst not choose. Come away, servant. Come. Ah, shit. I'm that's on. It. <gasps> oh, uh, that's I you. I am ready now. Get up there. <laughs> Approach, my Ariel. Come. Damn it. No problem. I've got this. I just walk to Rachel. And say my line. I wish I could throw that at Rachel for <laughs> getting me into this. Hey, I sat here yesterday. Ugh, that killed my eyes. <laughs> yeah, I'm supposed to be on the X and speak. <sighs> All hail, great mistress. I, uh, I come to answer thy best pleasure. Most fearless, generous spirit, hast thou performed to point the tempest that I bade thee? I boarded the sh king's ship. Aha! I boarded the king's ship. In every cabin, I flamed amazement. <laughs> the fire and cracks of sulfurous roaring, the most mighty Neptune seemed to besiege Her and voice. make his bold waves uh, tremble. My brave <laughs> spirit, who was so firm, so constant, that this coil would not infect his reason. Uh, not a soul. The king's son, uh, Ferdinand, 
was the first man that leaped from his ship and cried. What, what did he cry? That was empty. Cried. <clears throat> this one was empty. like a little bit in the and middle of her text. Oh my goodness. Are here. Yes. But this are is for you, Rachel. Ariel. Safe? All right. I guess this is when I'm supposed to walk somewhere. Ariel flies to the shipwreck and points. I'm definitely oh, supposed to do something here. with this. <laughs> Not a hair perished. And, uh, it's not a wiki, I took a phone images. <laughs> I have dispersed them about the aisle. Dispersed them about the aisle. In troops? In troops! Bravo! Ariel, thy charge exactly is performed. But there's more work. There more toil? <laughs> more lines. <laughs> Is there more toil? Let me remember thee what thou hast promised. How now? What is't thou canst demand? My liberty. Indeed. Thy <laughs> liberty? Nay, this most of all I will not grant. The, going off script. Line. Just going off script. What's going on? <laughs> but thou assured my freedom, didn't thou? I never said how dearly I hold thee. My habit's been to keep my soul well draped. Most loyal spirit, companion, and friend. Is acting in my service not replete with excitement, amusement, and delight? Of course, mistress. Most truly, it is so. Mr. Key, they're way off Shh. script. It's <laughs> magical. <laughs> then why, I pray you, wish you to be free? Excitement's a mere counterfeit of bliss these storms and these adventures okay i guess i I'm prefer a... <laughs> to know thou still cared for my plainest self i have thee in my grasp i will not bend i will not see thee flying forth alone the envy would be more than i could bear So come with me. Is that not in thy power? Spirit, take my hands. Most faithful friend, for but a little longer I beseech. Continue in thy service to my schemes. And when they are complete, I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. I'll seek to make thy happiness so great that in the name of liberties forgot. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Say yes! <laughs> yes, I am most pleased. <laughs> Your duty done for now, so go forth hence with haste. <laughs> I've work to do. You crushed it! So good. You're a born thespian, my dear. I'll be chasing you down next year. And the ending, absolutely transformative. I am humbled. Thanks. What the hell just happened? The strangeness of your Was that story real? Put heaviness in me. Shake it off. Come on. We'll visit Caliban, my slave. Tis a villain, sir. I do not love to look on. He does make our fire, fetch in our wood. What ho! Slave! Caliban! Come forth, I say! 
As wicked do as e'er my mother brush with raven's feather from unwholesome fen. Drop on you both. A southwest blow on ye and blister you all o'er. Thou poisonous slave, got by the devil himself, filth as thou art, I have lodged thee in mine own cell till thou didst seek to violate the honor of my child. Oh ho, oh ho, would it had been done. Thou didst prevent me, I had peopled else this isle with Calibans. Fetch us in fuel and be quick. So, slave, hence. Where should this music be? In the air or the earth? This play is super intense. What is it? A spirit? It carries a brave form, but it is a spirit. No wench. It eats and sleeps and hath such senses as we have. I will resist such entertainment. Put thy sword up, traitor. Do you love me? O oh, heaven, O oh, earth, bear witness to this sound. I beyond all limit of what else in the world do love, prize, honor you. His tears run down his beard like winter's drops from eaves of reeds. Go release them, Ariel. My charms I'll break, their senses I'll restore, and they shall be themselves. Now my charms are all o'erthrown, and what strength I have's mine own. Pray, release me from my bands with the help of your good hands. Encore, encore. Hey, get out there, Chloe. Get out there. You're so dead. Yeah? How dead? Hella dead. <laughs> Hella dead. <clears throat> it's the woman. What is her story? She keeps popping up randomly. I saw the writing execution, man. They do a good job. That they do. Yeah, that whole ad lib there. Oh my god, Keaton's face behind you when you walked on stage? <laughs> I was shitting myself. Never had an experience like that on stage. 
Yeah, right? You know, you. Like, seriously. I love nights after a show. <laughs> Is it always like this? Oh, you got totally. that adrenaline it's rushing through. High. No more nerves, just the adrenaline. So, first timer, are you proud of yourself? You were literally perfect tonight. I was born away. <laughs> Yeah, I feel really awesome. If you told me this morning I'd be this happy tonight. You've gone through so much shit today. Right now is pretty good. Okay, the whole show was good. I admit it. Yeah. It was magical. Well, <laughs> everything's been magical since we started hanging out. Let's leave. For real. What do you think I've been trying to plan for? For real. I've got well, money. I've got the freaking stuff. Like I said Ugh. last night, let's do it. <laughs> I know. I've been thinking about that all day. But that was... <laughs> Don't say it was, was just a crazy thought. You mean it. I can tell. You want this. Yeah, but... Like... Eventually. Let's go now. Do it. Didn't we already agree on stage? <laughs> we can't just... <laughs> Why not? What about money? I thought you were a high-rolling criminal now. <laughs> money, but... Uh... I've got the money I took from Drew's, but... Rachel, I feel terrible about what happened. Maybe we can give it back. Or pay that Damon guy off. Yeah. Maybe. We'll figure it out, Chloe. Anyway, I've got more than enough to start us out. I always give Do you money for my dad. Or should I say... Hush money. What does he know? Any more questions? No. How far could we possibly get without a car? I thought you were fixing that truck in the junkyard. I was just seeing if I could. Well, can you or can't you? Totally can. We've seen the future. She can do it. Yeah. I can. That's hot. <laughs> In other words, we've got transportation covered. <sighs> I know our parents have been shitty, but we can't just leave them. The reason truck in the junkyard, you probably that, that big hole like in the floor. Price. I'm the only one my mom has left. You're right. What am I saying? She's got David now. Fine then, drama queen. Where are we going? <laughs> you tell me. What uniquely twisted location does Chloe Price plus Rachel Amber equal? Hmm. <laughs> She's always wanted to go to, oh shit, was it New York? Los Angeles. Crap. Try to remember. It was when we were doing the Truth Truth Lie. I think she said she was from New York. Then she said that, but she's not actually from there, but she's always wanted to be, go. Hell. New York City. Obviously. 3 a.m., you and me outside some cafe on St. Mark's, shoving pizza in our mouths and shouting Broadway songs with 10 people we just met. And this cute guy in 
horn rimmed glasses will pass by and see you and slow down. Yeah. Okay. He'll be like, <laughs> want to split a cab? And I'll be like, back <laughs> off. She's with me. You're full of shit. <laughs> <sighs> I love this time of night. <laughs> Don't you just feel like everything's possible? <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, stop. If you don't mean this, it's it's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. For fuck's sake! I've never been more serious in my life. <laughs> <sighs> Chloe, what would it take to convince you? Bracelet, a keys, or a tattoo. Well, we know that she doesn't get her bracelet, because Frank has it. And they don't get ca tattoos, so it, I agree, Zaychan. It's gotta be, it's gotta be that kiss. It's been building up this whole time. You, you'll probably, like, unfollow, block me, everything if I don't pick kiss. <laughs> Send me nasty hate mail. <laughs> So cute. Oh. <laughs> Romantic. Is that convincing enough? Yeah. And that was a kiss. We're not talking some quick peck here. <laughs> Eat it, girl. <laughs> Holy shit. Right? <laughs> oh, there's Ash. What is this stuff? Better be the end of episode two. It's a nice end. I like it right there. Now she's like, oh shit. This place is too swanky. Okay, I am going to have to end the stream there, though. It's, like it's getting pretty late. Oh my goodness. And, and it, it feels it, it feels really good right here. I, I like it. And that we can continue on this. It's, it's, it's nice. It's not too crazy. Although, the thing that's bugging me is it's this feels like... So close! So close! <laughs> but shit! Oh, this backstory to Chloe. You know, in the first game, I really didn't care for Chloe all that much. When everybody was saying like, yeah, no, I, I'm all about Max and Chloe being together, blah, blah, blah. I, I didn't see it. I saw Max more with Warren. So, there's that. And then, 
because I, I just didn't care for Chloe and her whole attitude and all that, but seeing how she is, and yeah, this whole backstory that's building her up, things are making so much more sense, and it would have been nice to have beforehand. The characters from the first game are so fleshed out. Yeah, exactly. And the only thing that's bothering me is she's got this big sadness about Max, but she got over it so quickly in the first game. Not sure, Vic, Nathan, Frank, Rachel. Yeah, no, everybody's everybody's getting really fleshed out, and like this is an amazing game for fleshing out this whole universe here. So that's why I'm also a little sad that apparently, yeah, this this story's done. But once this is done, I mean, you're going to get a run in with somebody in a couple people over in the uh, Life is Strange 2, but it's a totally different story. It has nothing to do with Arcadia Bay or anything else. It's only going to have a passing mention, depending on what ending you have, and then that's it. So it's like, man, it's like when you're reading a really good book for a while, and it's a great series, you're loving it, and then you reach the end. And it's the end of the series, there's no more. It's done. And you're just left there, so I'm like... These characters that you've... You've grown to love and enjoy... Are now... Gone. And you're so invested in the characters now? Yeah, I agree. I... I don't... I think the only other... Person that I've ever been really invested in in a video game is in Heavy Rain, uh, the, the dad in that one. They, they did him really well, like really well. Very, very happy with that one. And... Maybe Lee in The Walking Dead. Jason, fuck, oh my god. That scene tore me up, man. Oh, you got the bad one? I ha I got the good ending. I didn't... I was able to save my son. I was I did well enough. And I was playing with the... The hard mode controllers and frick. Some of those things that they're asking you to do. L1, L2, you had to like... Literally pressing. I'm using my chin on some keys too. Because I'm trying to fight a drug addiction for that, that one guy. <laughs> it was funny. Ugh. All right, but anyways, we'll call it there. And as always, if you're not on my social medias, follow me on Twitter, Discord. Like this uh, past stream on Monday, I did have to cancel it. I always make sure everybody stays up to date on that. I give you a heads up. Sometimes it's not that early. It's a couple hours beforehand, but I like to always make sure that you guys know. And so you're not just sitting out there going, what the hell's happening, man? I'm waiting for a stream. Where is it? All right. Excelsior! <laughs> Have a good night, everyone. Oh, was trying if you're still here. I actually want to put this back because you didn't get a chance to see the, the opening screen. This is from after she kicked over the thing. I was just like, man, look at this. So beautiful. Such a great job with these opening screens. <clears throat> Anyways, yes, bye-bye.